Hi, we're January 26, 2013, and I want to show you a European aquaponic system during the winter. It has been freezing here for uh, two weeks now. Uh, uh, this week even it went to minus 15 degrees, which is a bit exceptional here in Belgium. Uh, but as you can see, um, there's a lot of snow. Even today it's snowing, it's the last day, tomorrow it starts getting better it seems but I want to show you how an aquaponic system in Belgium uh, a small one can be uh, obtained so that's the aquaponic system as you have seen it before let's dig into the snow um, the big problem of course is the temperature and as you can see this week really only uh, you can see that most of the plants went down. Uh, when the temperature goes down to minus 4 degrees or so, uh, there's not such a big problem because uh, on, on the top of the, of the greenhouse uh, there's a lot of ice forming as you can see and this uh, insulates, isolates the, the temperature. So what I had here is, as you can see when it went to minus 15 here, the temperature in the greenhouse went to minus uh, 4 to 5 4 uh, uh, degrees of Celsius. At this moment it's about 1 degree, so it's not really freezing in here, but it did freeze. So the stevia uh, almost died, which is no problem at all, it will get back. Uh, this, uh, there's a bit of salad still in, which always does well during winter. Even the watercress, which is a, normally a perfect vegetable to grow during the winter, doesn't look very good, does it? So this is the peppers which, which uh, basically die. The water is maintained on uh, about 8 degrees. Uh, you can see my PLC system here regulating it. Let me just give that a push and you can see that the water at this moment is on 5 degrees. Uh, if you can see that, okay, um, but uh, basically uh, it's, it's heated electrically and that's a big problem for the moment. Yeah, there's still a little bit of, uh, of vegetables. I, I, just, I just keep it green a bit just to make sure we have a little bit of filtering of the water and uh, to make sure that um, uh, the bacteria uh, keep very well alive so we can boot up actually in, uh, in springtime quite fast okay so um, that's it for the inside let's go outside now and check the fish tank okay look at the snow still a bit messy here as I already wrote on my blog we are going to re build the whole system and garden next year or this year <laughs> I have to say okay so this is the fish tank my fish tank uh, is uh, fully uh, insulated um, well it should it could be better but um, that's how it is now um, and that's really necessary if you really want to keep it running during the winter a little bit um, the electricity comes from my solar panels which are on the roof I have 36 solar panels uh, which is basically a good thing here to do because uh, it really uses a lot of energy let me see if I can just take this out because it's quite heavy yeah I will have to lift it there we go yeah just put my camera down here for the moment and put a stick under it that's heavy stuff now Okay, I have to change the system of uh, putting the stick under. <laughs> I'm going to put in a, a, a big insulation plate on it like this, or a bigger one even, and then the front I'm going to put some double glass in it. But as you can see, there's some goldfish in it and some, uh, some other fish just to keep the system running during the winter. The Omega perches are not in, as the water is still... Uh, five to six degrees I do still feed those fish a little bit and uh, that's what I'm going to do now and uh, just give them some food which is not too much but uh, if I do that on a daily base uh, it just keeps them going on 
Uh, by the way, the goldfish are uh, going to uh, get out of it, but there's some other uh, fish in it, uh, which I'm going to keep for uh, some years during the winter. Okay, this is the resistor, which is quite a big resistor, as you can see. Uh, it's a 1000 watt resistor, which keeps the water warm. I'm going to close it down now. As I said, an aquaponic system here in the winter is quite difficult. It's different than the ones we see on the internet on Aust in Australia and uh, America or whatever. Uh, it's very hard to maintain systems here. I have some, uh, well, colleagues uh, who are uh, shutting down the system during the winter. I'm not. Uh, I keep it running on a very low basis. Uh, just to have some vegetables up to the end of December, up to when when uh, when it starts freezing. Well, that's it for uh, the winter update.